Defenseman Chris Tanev back on the ice this morning for the Flames, skating with his teammates for the first time at morning skate. He's missed the last six games with an upper body injury, but could be an option here tonight listed as a game time decision. Hi everyone and welcome back inside the Scotiabank Saddle Dome and welcome to game day tonight. It is the Flames opening up the first of back-to-back -back games. They've got Winnipeg coming up tomorrow night in Winnipeg, sitting two points back of that playoff spot, but they have to take care of business first here tonight against the Chicago Blackhawks. As we take a look at the matchup here this evening, Chicago comes in as the 32nd place team in the National Hockey League. They've dropped eight consecutive games. However, they have had the Calgary Flames number this season, winning both prior meetings, one here at the Saddle Dome and one in Chicago. So the Flames will look to snap that trend against the Hawks here tonight. As for the Flames' current position, well, as mentioned, still sitting two points back, but riding a little wave of momentum right now with four consecutive wins. Both of the last two have come in the form of comeback victories coming from behind in the third period to win against both Vancouver and Anaheim, but that momentum is noticeable, and now obviously with a huge matchup against Winnipeg looming tomorrow, they have to take care of business tonight, which would move them equal to the Jets in the standings. Yeah, I think it's, uh, it's a tougher to watch than, than play. And I think when you get uh, all the momentum changes and lead changes that have, that have happened in the last few games, it's uh, definitely a, a roller coaster to watch. But it's been uh, incredible to see how, how much perseverance, how much resilience um, the guys have showed and um, just continuing to work and, and stick with the process no matter what happens on, on any given play in any given shift. Here's a look now at who to watch and we'll start with the Hawks and Jonathan Taze who's had a difficult year battling long COVID. He's missed 27 games but made his return to the lineup on Saturday night in Chicago to a massive ovation from the home fans. Taze still the captain of this team and had an assist in his return to the lineup. For the Flames, Troy Stetcher, the defenseman, has been outstanding since joining the club at the trade deadline. He's got six points in 15 games, but four of those have come over the last six. A few different defense partners over the course of those games as well. Stetcher hit the 100-point mark in his NHL career on the weekend in Vancouver against his former team, the Canucks. As far as the lineup is concerned here tonight, looks like they'll go with the same forward lines that they had to start Saturday or Sunday night's game against Anaheim. But uh, one change that will happen, at least it looks that way as of now, the way they skated this morning is that Chris Tanev is making his return, which means the defense pairing shift just a little bit. Mackenzie Wieger skating with Rasmus Anderson, Chris Tanev with Noah Hannafin, which moves Nikita Zadorov back alongside Troy Stetcher. It does look like Jacob Markstrom is your slated starter here this evening as uh, confirmed by Daryl Sutter this morning. You have to go with your ace. Markstrom will get the nod here tonight against the Blackhawks. 7 o'clock start at the Dome. <laughs> 